What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a full car tour, garage tour. We just moved into a new house. I don't want to show it yet because I want to do an entire video dedicated to the house. So far we have the garage pretty set up. It's coming along really well. Hopefully next week we'll have the house ready to do the house tour. But I haven't done a car update in, I don't know, I don't, I don't think ever. I think they kind of just end up on my channel and you see what you see. But today we're gonna do a full walkthrough, talk about the cars, show you exactly what I have right now. All right, let's do it. We got Jordy right here. Hey, hey. what's going on? Hey, you wanna see First me? car right there, boom. Hey. Over here, first we'll start with Big Red. If you don't know, this car was my baby. I moved out to LA with it. It was my first vehicle that I ever purchased myself and it meant a lot to me. I moved out here with it and it was stolen from my apartment complex. I ended up finding it back three years later. If you guys wanna watch the full story of it, I will link that video in my description below, so make sure to check that out. She's a 99 Ford Lightning, 94,000 miles on it I just hit. Uh, I've actually been using it quite a bit to uh, help with this move. It's my only truck that I have right now. How's it running? So running great? Runs like a beast, baby. It's got like a bit of a smoker's call. It though. does. <laughs> yeah, it's got a little bit of rass. <laughs> got some clear coat peeling up. Roof is looking a bit uh a bit crusty i'm actually going to be doing a full segment on big red we'll call it restoration rebuild series we're basically going to make it look like paul walker's lightning in fast and the furious oh, yeah. it's going to be really sick we're going to put the stock wheels back on it stock grill pull off all the plasty dip shit that i thought was cool when i was 20 years old. We're gonna do some paint corrections, swap the pulley in it, might throw in a Whipple supercharger, a couple different things, but yeah, we're gonna do a whole process on the build. Um, so that's gonna be coming soon, so make sure to check that out. The other vehicle we have is Mariah's Jeep. This is the one that she got for Christmas quite a few years ago now. I guess I could put that link below if you haven't seen that one either. It's a really cute video. Um, but yeah, this is her Jeep. We recently put some method wheels on it. We've got 35 inch tires. It was the biggest we could go without having to do an entire lift kit aftermarket lighting right here on the front the turn indicators aftermarket lights back here and those are all from go recon uh, if you want to check that out they make really really awesome parts the most recent addition is the Casey light bar Casey, across. Casey, Casey, Come Casey, on now. Casey, Casey, uh, uh. Casey, Casey, Casey. I just counted all of them. These things are absolutely insane. They're super sick. Very, very cool lights. And then we also have the satin wrap that is still on it from another surprise video that we did. It looks really good. It's holding up really well. We actually just washed these cars maybe like, I'm not joking, three days ago. And the rain and the pollen, they just look absolutely disgusting. <laughs> I, I, I give up. It looks so good for like 30 minutes. Why don't you show them the uh, the driving massage vehicle? My newest addition to the family. This is my G63. This is the replacement to my TRX that I had. I had uh, some issues with the TRX and I got incredibly frustrated with it. The customer service from Ram was really terrible and I got yanked around from dealer to dealer and I just got really, really annoyed. Um, and I impulse bought a G63. <laughs> it just happened, I, I couldn't explain it. But here, let me show you guys the inside of this since you haven't seen it yet. This is a 2021. The reason I liked it so much is because it has the Panda, 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 panda. Hey, yeah. All white mafia interior. <laughs> it just looks really, really clean. I love the white interior on the black. I just think it looks really, really nice. The coolest thing, let me show you real quick. The coolest thing about this truck is the massage chair. <laughs> It's, it's probably the coolest thing for the first like two months and then you forget you have the feature. The one thing I will say I hate the most about it is that it doesn't have a touch screen and you would assume that it would, but everything in the car is controlled from this little section right here, your knob, your little wheel thing. This is like a little touch pad to kind of like cycle through and navigate the screen. I like the passenger independency over here. I haven't had any issues with it. It's been really reliable. Cup holder, up front storage situation. The Jeep is much, much better. Uh, you've got like the little tray up on top right here. You can set things in. It's got more storage in the console. It's a fun car. It's incredibly fast. Uh, for being a big block. Sounds really good. I think the the, the, the steering dynamic, like the seats oh, yeah, sway yeah, yeah. with you while you turn. So 
when you're like making a, a left turn, your seats are they go with you with yeah. the car. So Everything moves. Your bolsters right here. These will actually inflate. There's an airbag inside of it. So when you turn the wheel, it inflates the opposite side to keep you from leaning in your seats. You're always, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, locked and dialed in. It feels like someone is, but yeah, it has their hands <laughs> like this and it's like. It really does. Sound system in here is unbelievable. Ooh. That's pretty much it. There's not really too much to it. It's basically a glorified Jeep. That's why I think I like it. We're not even halfway done yet, right? No, we still gotta go into the garage. Oh, here, you know what? Hop out real quick. Let me get some exhaust notes on this thing. I hope the audio picks this oh, up. Oh, also, uh, can, you mind if I... Uh, oh yeah, the best feature. Mercedes. <laughs> you can't close the door like a normal car. It just doesn't close. The latch system on here is very old school mechanical. So you actually have to like slam the door incredibly hard to get it to close. Another interesting quirk and feature about having this lock is the fact that you can't have the key in your pocket and be able to walk up to your car and unlock it with like a proximity sensor. Go ahead and point that at the little exhaust tips down there. They, they, they heat you up right before you get in too. Oh man, ow! It's squirting on me. Oh my god! It's a beast. And you don't have to worry about like curbs or anything like that. I feel like I have the safety of a like a truck, but also, you know, a little bit more luxurious and a lot more compact, especially being in LA, driving a Raptor or a T-Rex is pretty cumbersome and kind of annoying fitting into parking spaces and making tight turns. Let's go check out the garage. The piece de resistance. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm most excited about this house, we have a two car, and then we also have a single. So we got a three car garage. My car's on fire. All right. <laughs> We've been working on this garage for Non a couple stop. weeks now. Um, it's not fully done. Let me give you guys a quick little tour. Um, this is the beer vending machine, if you remember that from the Porter Ranch house, also the Toluca Lake house. And we've got the light up here, we've got a little arcade system. The old school unfiltered logo right here actually. Just some of the old things you might recognize. Uh, but right now we have the 992 Turbo S in here. I don't think I'm gonna be doing anything to this. I kinda like where it's at right now. I've had opportunities to do different body kits and lower it. I kinda just really enjoy the way it rides. Didn't you take its intestines out and put it up there? Oh yeah, old guts are up top. <laughs> Let's go see them real quick. The only thing I have on the Turbo S is a exhaust. I did a full PPF wrap on it and we have a tune. Uh, but that's basically it. Up here we have the OEM stock exhaust right there. And then this was actually the exhaust that was in my Lamborghini Huracan. The camera is missing something. We got the Porsche oh. wallpaper. I know, it's a, it's, a, it's a lot, it's a lot. The Porsche golf bag. Big fan yeah, over man. here. And he big big to, Porsche guy. Right, Porsche all on the wall. I wanna get <laughs> one of those dealership <laughs> LED signs that go across the whole dealership that just say Porsche. For audio listeners, put on your headphones right now. <laughs> so, this is the interior, 3,443 miles on it. All right, here we go. We're settling down a bit. I guess I could do a quick little rev if you guys want to hear it. Turbos sound absolutely insane. This is the dream car of dream cars. This is my absolute baby. I'm in love with it. Never leaving it, never getting rid of it. All right, on to the next one. Boy, you smell that? Oh my God. It smells like mu <laughs> smells mustard gas. <laughs> You know, if you keep your car running in the garage with the doors closed. I think I'm gonna die from just if with, the doors open. With the door open, I'm, <laughs> with the I'm door still. Open, I think I'm gonna die. So with the exhaust and the tune that I did to it, uh, I'm getting right now six miles to the gallon. <laughs> I'm not joking. Smiles per gallon, baby. I wonder if they know. Hey. Been to Tokyo. Let's show it. And now we've got the JDM Holy Grail 1991 Acura NSX. Uh, this thing is completely stock absolute mint condition. They're, both of these cars are incredibly dirty. I need to get them washed. So but from Japan. 
this is all import. Yeah, that came uh, with the shipping. 23,000 miles on it. I think I might have just hit 24,000. All original paint. This thing is absolute mint. It's not a very fast car at all, but it's my only manual car, which makes it a completely different driving experience. It's super, super fun. This thing gets eyes for d everyone is... More than anything. <laughs> the attention that the NSX gets over the, the Turbo S, over a G63, over anything. The most people talk to me in this car specifically. I wish I could do more things to it. Like I would love to slam it, put it on wheels. They make some really cool body kits, side skirts for this car that I would love to put on. But the fact that it's so clean, I can't do it. Um, I know a lot of people want me to. When he sees this, yeah. he is looking at the Vincent Van Gogh Starry Night. Right. Like he's looking at his Mona Lisa and he's like, yeah, I, 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 it's just, this is the painting. This is the craziest painting he owns right now. What's crazy is that this car, even on, sounds completely silent. Like oh, it's, yeah. it's like a yeah, Tesla. It's an electric car. It is unbelievably quiet. It's just a beautiful, really cool classic car that I, I really enjoy. Over here, we've got the gas motorcycle bicycle from the Porter Ranch house as well. And still runs. 30, 40 years later, we've <laughs> gone our way to this. The That's right. The electric version of this gasoline bike. These things are super sweet, by the way. I love Super 73. Uh, they did a really awesome job with their bikes. The range on it is incredible. It does 30 miles an hour, really, really cool product, especially for just scooting around town. We would take them all the time to go grab coffee, lunch. How's the mechanical, like if you don't uh, use the electric on it? You could run it as a normal bike. Sorry. It's just really heavy. Uh, you can also do pedal assist, which will give you some extra power while you're pedaling, or you can oh. just do full throttle and uh, you don't have to pedal at all. Oh, that's awesome. You gotta have the Legos. Then we got the 930 <laughs> turbo up there by the Komoda plate. And we're, we're actually starting a cool economic system. I don't know if you guys noticed those gas cans over there. Yeah, we <laughs> should open it up to the public. Just people like, <laughs> dude, I would love to have my own <gasps> gas station. We're halfway there, Keith. We oh yeah, we've got the full <laughs> pump. All we to... gotta do is hook it up. We got the vending machine. We got, I mean, there's a lot to get this thing. This is a full blown stop and shop. Yeah, so there is some things I still wanna do in here uh, decoration wise. Oh, there's my Warbird right there. Hey, mind if I, uh... All of them are out of stock except for Miller Lite. Hey! Oh, hey. Jordan, you really don't have to. You, oh, you oh, really God. didn't have to. Oh, I had to because <laughs> I didn't want to. <laughs> and now I have a huge update content wise. Jordan and I are actually gonna start streaming. So right here is our streaming setup. This is basically our computer that we just built out, little station. This is gonna be where we will stream from every single morning. We're gonna stream different video games, things like that. It's gonna be really fun. Maybe do like a couple like just chatting little streams, hanging out, keeping you guys updated with what's going on. And I also have a really cool toy coming. <laughs> <laughs> toy! Toy, it's a really cool I have cool a really toy. cool toy coming at the end of this month that I'm really excited for. One, it's gonna be just sweet to have it, uh, but also for streaming as well. I'm so pumped and I cannot wait oh, to show you guys. Secret? Yeah. It's really fun, <laughs> and the streams are gonna be sick. I guess if you want to follow our channel early, I'm in the process, somebody stole my username on Twitch, <laughs> and then in their bio put, I'm not Heath Hussar, please don't be mad at me. But I'm trying to get my handle, and I guess if you wanna follow our account right now, that way you guys are ahead of the curve and can be notified and up to date and everything. So basically, all you wanna do is go to Twitch. TV and then it's gonna be slash grubby groupers. G R U B B Y G R O U P E R S. You're our guppies. <laughs> He's grubby grouper. <laughs> I love SpongeBob. Hopefully, we can have the first stream up here pretty soon. Right, there's a por huge porch behind us. There can't be anything else that's cooler. We are here, we are live. And then also stay tuned for the Big Red Restoration Rebuild. I'm gonna start ordering the parts now, that way everything's ready to go and we can rip through it pretty quickly. Oh, a quick life update. Sorry, I left the uh, last video just abruptly. Just, just ended it. <laughs> I know a lot of people were like, wait, what is going on? But yeah, so we are moved into our new house. Everything is going well. We're not far. The podcast is gonna be, you know, 
going on the same as usual, so don't worry about that. Uh, but yeah, all right guys, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you very, very soon. I'm gonna be posting a lot more frequently. That's right, not not big red anymore, giant red. Yeah, it's gonna be- we're Huge gonna, red. We're about to make this thing burgundy <laughs> red, boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna look really, really cool. Yeah. Alright guys, that's it for the video. I love you so much. Thank you for sticking with me throughout all these years. It means a lot. And uh, thanks for allowing me to grow with you guys. I love you. I think I need it. <laughs> you brought one paper towel for that entire thing? Uh, stay tuned. <laughs>